welcome to the class students today in this class let us solve some two marks problems on the in theoretical distribution that two on normal distribution chi square and t distribution let us solve some problems on of two marks and for your exam point of view it is very very important concept okay so let us let us start with some problems it is if standard deviation of a normal distribution distribution is 15 find qd and md qd is nothing but quartile deviation md is mean deviation here they have given the standard deviation is 15 so from in normal distribution here i'll write the standard deviation as 15 in normal distribution quartile deviation is equal to 2 by 3 sigma and mean deviation is equal to 4 by 5 sigma so this is the formula or the constant to find the quartile deviation and the mean deviation in standard normal distribution so this is 2 by 3 into 15 and this qd is 10 next 4 by 5 into 15 it is 12 so in exam also you will get this type of 2 for 2 marks okay be careful you will get this type of 2 marks problems next is next one if if variance of normal distribution is 9 find quartile deviation and mean deviation here they have given the variance so in solution sigma square is equal to 9 variance is nothing but sigma square but we want sigma value so sigma is equal to square root of 9 so sigma is equal to 3 that is this is your standard deviation and quartile deviation is equal to 2 by 3 sigma this is 2 by 3 into 3 this is 2 and mean deviation this 2 by 3 sigma sorry 4 by 5 sigma this is 4 by 5 into 3 this is 2.4 2.4 for your exam point of view you have to solve this type of problem that will be for two marks and it is easy to score marks also so in two marks problems you will get this type of problems so next problems let us solve some more find qd and md find find qd and md of normal distribution with mu mean is equal to 30 standard deviation is equal to 6 see here in this problem simply they have given the mean value to make us confuse so here mean is no need there is no use of mean value or mu value to calculate the quartile deviation and the mean deviation so sigma is equal to 6 here sigma is equal to 6 so there sigma is equal to 6 to find quartile deviation it is 2 by 3 sigma and to find mean deviation it is 4 by 5 sigma so calculate that 2 by 3 into 6 it is 4 and 4 by 5 into 6 it is 4.8 4.8 next one more problem if in a normal distribution you know normal distribution q1 is equal to 40 q3 is equal to 60 find mean quartile deviation and standard deviation we have here they have given the two quartiles q1 and q3 so we have to find the mean mean quartile deviation and standard deviation so here here mean the property of normal distribution says that mean median mode are same 
okay the the property of normal distribution says that mean is equal to median is equal to more because the curve will be bell shaped and the symmetric curve so here they have given the two quartiles this here median is nothing but q3 minus sorry q1 plus q3 divided by 2 so this median is nothing but our mean in normal distribution therefore mean is equal to q1 plus q3 by 2 so q1 is equal to 40 60 divided by 2 this is equal to 50 next to find quartile deviation using this it is we know that the quartile deviation formula is q3 minus q1 by 2 so 60 minus 40 by 2 this is 10 this is 10 and using this quartile deviation formula 2 by 3 sigma so we can find the standard deviation so we know the qd value it is 10 2 by 3 sigma take the cross multiplication 30 is equal to 2 sigma sigma is equal to 30 by 2 or sigma is equal to 15 so this is how we have calculated the standard deviation value also next one One more problem, same type we are solving. In normal distribution, in a normal distribution, if Q1 is equal to 20, Q3 is equal to 50, find, find quartile deviation, mean and standard deviation. Quartile deviation, mean and the standard deviation. Okay. So again, we are repeating same procedure. That is mean is nothing but the median that is Q1 plus Q3 by 2. It is 20 plus 50 by 2. It is 70 by 2 or it is 35. Next to find quartile deviation it is Q3 minus Q1 by 2. So 50 minus 20 by 2. 30 by 2 it is 15. Next to find sigma or a standard deviation we are using this relation so 15 is equal to 2 by 3 sigma take the cross multiplication 15 5 is a 45 and sigma is equal to 22.5 sigma is 22.5 so this is how we have calculated next one if q1 is equal to 30 q3 is equal to 70 find mode of normal distribution you have to find the mode of normal distribution we know that in normal distribution mean median mode are same they are equal so here again to find mode it is q1 plus q3 by 2 so 30 plus 70 by 2 it is 100 by 2 or mode is equal to 50 mode is equal to 50. Let us solve one more. If, if the lower and upper quartile, uh, lower and upper quartiles of normal distribution are 11 and 39 respectively respectively find median find median so we know that median is nothing but our q2 this is q1 plus q3 by 2 so 11 plus 39 by 2 is 50 by 2 or q2 or median is equal to 25 q2 or median is equal to 25 so this is how we have solved the problems on normal distribution. Let us move on to chi-square and t distribution. See 
chi square and t distribution from that distribution always we will expect the two marks and one marks problem uh, from that distribution so it is very very important distribution for our exam point of view okay so write down the mean and standard deviation write down the write down the mean and standard deviation of a chi square distribution chi square variate with with 8 degrees of freedom 8 degrees of freedom you know what do you mean by degrees of freedom degrees of freedom is nothing but number of independent observations degrees of freedom is nothing but number of independent observations so 8 degrees of freedom so here n is equal to 8 so in chi square distribution mean is equal to n therefore mean is equal to 8 okay next up to find we have to find the standard deviation for that first let us find the variance variance is equal to 2n it is 2 into 8 that is 16 so standard deviation is equal to square root of variance this is square root of 16 this value is this is equal to 4 so standard deviation is equal to 4 square root of 16 is equal to 4 standard deviation is 4 so this is two marks problems what are the mean and variance of chi square distribution? What are the mean and variance of chi square chi square variate chi square variate with 11 degrees of freedom that is n is equal to 11 therefore mean is equal to 11 so variance is equal to 2n is equal to n it is 2 into 11 it is 22 this is how we have calculated it looks very simple to calculate but you don't forget the formulas to find that okay if variance of chi square distribution is next question if variance of chi square variate chi square variate is 12 they have given the variance it is 12 what is the mean what is the mean of chi square variate chi square variate so here variance is equal to 2n that is equal to 12 okay but we want the mean value here mean is equal to n therefore 2n is equal to 12 n is equal to 12 by 2 or n is equal to 6 or this is your mean so mean is equal to 6 next one for a chi square variate for chi square variate with 13 degrees of freedom P of 0 less than chi square less than 12.34 is equal to 0 0.5 find find median and mode find median and mode so here here chi square is uh, when we square the normal distribution we will get the chi square distribution so here it is the probability of this is 0 0.5 that is half so half is nothing but the middle one so half is nothing but the middle most value so this value will become your median the probability whatever they have given that will become your median to find the mode value mode is equal to n minus 2 here with 13 degrees of freedom n is equal to 13 or mode is equal to 13 minus 2 this is equal to 11 that is our mode this is our mode value
let us solve one more for a chi square variate for a chi square variate with 10 degrees of freedom probability of 0 less than chi square less than 9.34 is equal to 0 0.5 find find median and mode uh, we know that again in this probability it is 0 0.5 that is our middle most value so median is equal to 9.34 and mode is equal to n minus 2 here 10 degrees of freedom n is equal to 10 therefore mode is equal to 10 minus 2 or mode is equal to 8 mode is equal to 8 so next let's solve problems on uh, this one which one uh, student t distribution if the parameter of if the parameter of student t distribution is 6 6 find mean and variance find mean and variance this is about student t distribution that is t distribution here with the n degree parameter n is equal to 6 find mean and variance in t distribution mean is equal to 0 mean is equal to 0 in t distribution and to find variance it is n by n minus 2 so 6 by 6 minus 2 this is 1.5 here mean is equal to 0 and variance is 1.5. Next problem, same problem, same thing on student distribution. We have to find the if the parameters of T distribution, T distribution is 7, find median and variance so in t distribution median is also zero mean median or zero we have to find the variance so variance is equal to n by n minus 2 your n is equal to 7 so 7 by 7 minus 2 this is 1.33 sorry yes 8 it is so n is equal to 8 we have to find 8 by 8 minus 2 therefore this variance is 1.33 next one more if n is equal to 10 n is equal to 10 for t distribution find median and standard deviation again your median is equal to 0 to find standard deviation it is square root of variance this is square root of n by n minus 2 this is square root of n n is equal to 10 10 by 10 minus 2 therefore standard deviation is equal to 1.11 1.11 let us solve one more of this type with n is equal to 4 find its mode and variance mode and variance with n is equal to 4 again here mode is equal to 0 okay and here n is equal to 4 so variance is equal to n by n minus 2 this is 4 by 4 minus 2 and this is 2 so variance is equal to 2 so these are some important problems uh, two marks problems in theoretical distribution from normal chi-square and t-distributions. So in examination you will get this type for two marks or it can be for one marks also. Please follow this one in, in your features, the features of binomial sorry features of normal and uh, t-distribution chi-square distribution. You, If you see those features in the features only we are having these formulas please follow this one okay and this is very very important concept to score a good marks
Thank you.